to Gary Anderson. Well, he'll certainly be wanting to, looking to improve his Masters results against one of the top youth stars who has now established himself in the big time and top 16. And he'll certainly be looking to progress his ranking and big stage experience. He's got himself in that top 16, Stuart. You get more expectation from everybody. But I'm looking to be at all the floor events, and his floor standard is as good as anybody's. Even Michael Van Gogh is exceptional on the floor. He's starting to produce that a little bit more now on the TV stage. Play to watch. So how's that, man? Next to being a little rusty, Gary Anderson. Benito has been putting in quite a bit of work since the World Championship and what a match it was 24. at the Ali Pali, a real classic, it was 4-2 in the end to, to Anderson, it was 3-0 up, hitting 9 out of 9 on the doubles if memory serves me and Van der Pass came back, won a couple of sets, briefly threatened to, to level the match before Anderson won it but it was a terrific watch and really was. Both some plus averages as well, so it just shows that the quality was there. And this man, when he gets going, yeah. he produced darts of the highest caliber. Yeah. The first one goes to Anderson. A feature of that match, very much like the Anderson Chisnell match, was 180 from one, and the other responded straight away. And Anderson looking at tops. Yeah, 180 clinical finish, first leg against the throne. I wonder if he has blown the cobwebs off very quickly. About 15 dark leg to start proceedings for Gary. With a maximum. Always good to get that double with the first dart, isn't it? Just fills you with confidence for the rest of the encounter. 93. Perfect positioning from Anderson. And we just kind of expected the next two to follow, and indeed they did. 93. Yeah, he's not had the best of results here, certainly on two occasions as well, following his two world titles. Last two years, combined with Alan Taylor in the last 16 semis and quarters. He's looking to improve that. But Gary had that record breaking 22 180s, didn't he, in the final against Van Gerwen? 42 in 10 sets of darts. Incredible when you sort of reflect on how good the standard really was. Well, it's certainly a magical era, Stuart. You mentioned it so often, the standard of the players now, the, some of the players that. Audiences haven't seen coming up from the huge ranks. As Gary called himself one of the old guard. Can still produce the goods as we saw with Phil Taylor, 105 average in the previous match. Uh, it's interesting that the Scott, the couple of nights exhibitions which were already pre-booked in, in Ireland, the week following the, the Alexandra Palace, but for two and a half weeks hasn't picked up the dart. He decided he better have a practice with, with Michael Smith at the hotel, but the darts have been in the, in the draw. You don't get an early night in Ireland, I can assure you of that. Well, 180 first leg, 180 second leg, 180 third leg. Not bad for somebody who's rusty. Finish from the pass. Anderson has. Possible 11 darts are here for Gary. It's been a better leg than Van der Pass so far. 96. Gary himself 70. Because will he get a throw at it? 12 for ball. But he's hit the treble. So it's double 13. Oh, on the way out. Not happy with that one. Chance for Big Ben. Oh, he's missed that one. Oh. Well, he's 
just lost his composure there. 70, never had a throw. Double two for Anderson. Ooh, long way off, long way off. Oh, he's going to get another goal. We mentioned earlier, didn't we, Stuart, that he's getting experience all the time on the big stage. Lost his composure in the last visit, but he can make amends here. And he has done double 60, he'll 